Hey everyone, I'm gonna make a relatively short video on the 300 gallon tank. It'll be an overview video, I'll show you guys all the equipment I use. Hopefully it will answer a bunch of questions that I've been getting recently on the tank. So hope you guys enjoy it. Sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. by uh, a bunch of you guys. Um, I'm just going to make a overview video of my 300 gallon African cichlid tank. Um, I you know, get a lot of questions, of course, on all the different equipment. So uh, I figured I would just make a uh, overview video of uh, all of the equipment that I use on this tank. Uh, I do apologize in advance for the glare. It's a very uh, bright room that this uh, tank is in here. So I'll do the best I can. So anyways, to start off, this is a 300 gallon marine land, uh, 300 uh, deep dimension tank. The footprint on this tank, six feet wide and uh, three feet front to back. I do have an aqua decor, uh, massive rocks background on this tank. So uh, it does chew up a bit of space, of course, but at um, the same time, it's pretty cool because the fish can actually swim around and behind this background actually. So <clears throat> it does provide a lot of um, useful, uh, coverage and hiding spots for these fish, so it's pretty cool. A little bit of a trade-off, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, the canopy and the uh, whole stand with bar, chairs, all that stuff, I've actually made, so it's all DIY. The only thing that is not DIY on this entire setup is the actual glass tank itself. So, uh, aside from that, lighting, I have uh, just a... Um, not even sure what they're called. Basically those strip or string lights that you get on Amazon. That's the uh, effect lighting. You can change it any color I want to up on top. And same thing on the bottom under the sump. As for the main lighting on this tank, I use three 30 watt LED floodlights. They are 12,000 K temperature. That is the color. So it's more of a whitish bluish color. I also apologize for my six year old son making a lot of noise in the background. So anyways, uh, going further, um, I am using black diamond blasting sand as the substrate in here. I've been using it for years now and it is absolutely great in my opinion. It's pretty cheap and uh, it does a, uh, a great job. It's no cleaning uh, necessary really. It's a very, uh, very clean sand. So anyways, let's go check out the engine room, which uh, is a 75 gallon, let me move these chairs out of the way and turn on. This is my power panel on the side of the tank. Um, it's actually complete uh, with missiles. I'm just kidding. But uh, moving the chairs out of the way, we can get a, a good look at the sump here. Should have done this before. So, this tank is always a work in progress. Anyways, here we go. So under here, like I said, this is just a 75 gallon tank that uh, I cut uh, glass baffles for. And uh, some of you may have already seen, um, this is the new setup I have instead of the filter socks that I've been running for years. Just replaced them with these Clarisy SK 5000s. Uh, they are roller filters and uh, I should get about six weeks or so at least out of a roll. Looks like a roll of toilet paper there. So they've been on the tank for about two weeks now and they have been incredibly awesome. And uh, it, it sure beats changing out filter socks every three, three yeah, I don't know, two or three days or so. Um, so definitely a big plus there. Uh, I did clean up the sump area a bit. Now I am running these um, large blocks. Uh, these are Marine Pure uh, Beneficial Bacteria blocks. They hold a ridiculous amount of beneficial bacteria. I think they're like 26,000 square feet each. So realistically, I really only need one, if not maybe two blocks on this tank. Uh, I am running three just for the heck of it. Uh, over here, I have port foam and then uh, ceramic rings that I've had uh, in this tank forever. So um, that's just keeping the cycle going when I put these new Marine Pure blocks in here. Uh, here's the return section over here, of course. Now, here's one of the cool 
uh, parts of this tank. It has a constant drip automatic water change system. I have uh, I set this up uh, about a year ago on this tank, this constant drip system. I have not done a manual water change in just over a year and the water parameters are perfect. Nitrates are pretty much undetectable. This is actually changing out about um, roughly one gallon per hour. So it's the equivalent of um, what I was doing uh, on water changes previous before I set this system up. Roughly 160 or so, 170 gallons per week water change it's doing. And uh, it is needed on this tank because the uh, full grown uh, African cichlids that I have in here, they, they do make a big mess and uh, it's a full time job doing water changes if you don't have a system like this. So uh, this is just a uh, regular um, RO type uh, water uh, purifier that I have. Um, I got it off of eBay and I put my own cartridges in there. So um, just different levels. Uh, first is the sediment filter on the right and then different uh, microns of carbon blocks. And that goes into the drip system. You see the blue line there. Uh, up here up top, I have a uh, 40 watt UV sterilizer, aqua ultraviolet UV sterilizer. And this is actually plumbed. If you follow the, the line up here, this is actually plumbed down and under behind to a planter box. This is a uh, aquaponics, or you could just call it a box of uh, pothos and lucky bamboo. And as you can see, it is um, growing, uh, starting to grow out of control, actually. I will actually be putting a lattice up the wall in the back here, so I'll start getting it to grow up and across the back of the tank, which should be pretty cool. But uh, between the constant drip system and the uh, plants, the nitrates are basically undetectable, so it's uh, it's really cool. It works uh, works out great for me, and uh, that's my system. So, uh, like I said, everything is DOI except for the uh, glass tank itself here, the 300, and the uh, glass Aquion 75 gallon tank. Uh, cut the baffles and everything else, of course, myself. So that's what we're looking at. So I hope this answered a bunch of your questions. Um, I know I've been receiving a lot of questions on this tank, uh, just different uh, aspects of it, lighting, filtration, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, you know, I hope this uh, maybe answers some questions, clarified up any confusion about the sump. I uh, did receive a bunch of questions on that, of course. So, uh, trying to think of what else. I think that is about it. Um, a lot of people ask me where this tank sits in my house. It's in one of my uh, family rooms. So, this tank it is basically. Uh, little sitting chair here is basically its uh, own room next to uh, the dining room. So that's where it is. Um, I'll be making a couple other videos. I'll make a video on the 210 and some other videos to follow. Thanks guys for watching. Talk to you guys soon.